Thomas Latham down the double three by Hilton. I'm delighted to be joined by a victorious Scott Forrest. Scott, how do you feel after your, your performance tonight? Feel good. Uh, first eight rounder, tough boy. Um, can take a shot. I mean, I hurt him four or five times in that fight. I would put him down with a big one in the first round, but obviously it was the end of the round, so he got up and had the minute to recover. But I'm um, not happy with it. Um, it was a good performance. The first round, like you say, it was right on the bell. You fought me a big shot. Do you think the bell saved him? 100%. Um, like, I didn't think he was even going to get back up. I kind of went to the corner thinking, Job done. like, I felt the shot in my hand. I was like, the job's done there. But um, obviously the bell went, he knew it, and managed to get back up to the stool. Did they kind of throw the game plan away a wee bit? This is the first time you've won eight rounds. And I'm guessing the plan was to try and bank some rounds. So when you go on the first round, did that change the mindset going into the second? Did you automatically think, I'm going to end this year? Yeah, I think I got a little bit too excited, like thinking I hurt him big there. Um, I did manage to hurt him again in the second, but credit to him, like he could take a shot. Um, he was wobbled a good few times, but managed to recover. But I think it was my own doing, like I was relaxed, catching the shots nice and clean. I was hurting him, and then because of that, I got overexcited and looking for it. And as soon as you start looking for it, it never comes. So, I mean, you learn, obviously, in the I think the best round I done was the last round. My coach agreed just there. Is, I mean, it's a double edged sword. Everyone likes to get the knockout, mm. but getting those eight rounds in the bank is very is invaluable at this stage. Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, you need to be know that you can go the rounds. Uh, I did go the rounds. I wasn't at my fittest. I could feel that, and my c could agree. But um, it was like ups and downs with a lot of cancellations. I mean, I've been. I was expected to fight in February. And then four cancellations I've had fight wise, so eventually came here. So it's training camp's been up and down, up and down. But yeah, Could... what was it like? Because since you've turned professional, it's been the big arena shows. You've been yeah. in the hydro, you've been down in Coventry. You've been in, it's been big, big stages. Yeah. And then you come to the Hilton, and it's a totally different environment. How have you found that? Um, I feel like the pressure's kind of off a little bit here. Like I'm not on like Sky TV where you know most of the UK is all watching. But um, it's good because up home I get to I get all my family, a lot of friends all through. So it was um, nice that way. But I mean, yeah, it kind of takes the pressure off with this. But um, I like being under the lights as well. I like the pressure. So it makes me, it makes me on edge a bit more. I like that. Do you see that nervous energy? Yeah, I mean, I st obviously still got it, but not to the extent of like being on the big, big 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 shows and just thinking where you get away what's the plans moving forward we're into June now and like you say it was just good to get back out there because it's been a bit stop start this year so what's the plans for the remainder of the year uh, get another couple of fights in um, we're looking to fight soon on another Sky show I reckon in the next couple of months uh, once we get that confirmed um, it'll be happy days back to the camp won't be too long I mean I want to be busy as I can perfect well Scott we enjoyed having you it was great and Best of luck for the rest of the year. Thanks, it's nice being here. Cheers. Cheers, mate.